Okay, so I'm working in this Firebase Cloud Messaging with React repository. That is a simple uh, front-end code. That you, the idea is that you log in. This automatically you log in with anonymous authentication with Firebase. So you can save the user token when you will run uh, the JavaScript to ask if the user wants to subscribe to push notifications. This will generate the token. These two buttons will be automatically, you don't need no buttons. And you will save the token ID in your database so you can send with your Python code. Now we're going to see an example. We're going to use the messaging GUI. So you create a new campaign, notifications. Let's say, for example, hello, one, two, three, hello. And let's send a test message first. I think the device, both devices, number one message. So here you can see in Windows, I received this message here and I can click and it will redirect to the application. The idea is that you handle with a web push with a dynamic link so you can move the user not to your home page but to a specific uh, deep link page with a specific content that will th that the user will love now let's see an example of a more uh, advanced push notification using the GUI let's say three and let's put only three you can click in next and you can target your application you can schedule, for example, for later. You can schedule a message, for example, for another day. So you can, it's very useful. You click on, then you click on next. Conversion events, you can also check, for example, for a purchase. You want to track that, the conversion events. Also, the engage, you have here the messaging. You can add custom uh, key value pairs. So for example, you can pass an URL and you can pass, for example, your domain.com slash three, for example. So you can pass a dynamic link, you review and you publish. And it will take a little bit to send because the servers are handling a lot of uh, notifications of all the applications in the world. So it will be smooth, it, it delays about three minutes, so be patient, I'm going to fast forward. So as you can see, the message has arrived. I can click it and go to the application. I can inspect the console. In the second message, we pass in the data, the URL, your domain, so you can handle this dynamic link with code. Okay, so welcome to this video. We're going to see an introduction to Firebase Cloud Messaging or Push Notifications. View dApps and dApps and use FCM, Fire Cloud, Firebase Cloud Messaging. You want to build applications. You are dreaming big in building in React, in Swift for iOS, in Kotlin and Java for Android. You will need a long-term strategy and you will need to engage with users and work with some tools for user retention and Cloud messaging and push notifications are the best tools for engagement. You have seen WhatsApp, Telegram, and all the big Discord, all the big Twitter, sending you to your smartphone notifications so you can re-engage and go back to a specific content in the app using dynamic links. So it's very important and very crucial to be an expert in push notifications and in Firebase Cloud Messaging. Firebase Cloud Messaging Essentials. Firebase Cloud Messaging is a free service, so you can send a lot of messages, have a lot of users, and Firebase will make money by using the database and other services like data transfer, but, but this technology for helping you bring in users again is for free. The user must agree to receive these messages, and messages could be sent to a single device, a group of devices, or devices subscribed to topics. So, for example, you can have a group of devices that are uh, of some specific country and some specific, for example, age or some specific uh, topic and some specific device. Also, they are Android, Android users, maybe living in, I don't know, Germany, for example. So it's very powerful. These are groups 
and topics is for example the science topic topic of technology of programming in rust or you can imagine any topic and it can be the way to classify devices and send a lot of push notifications to a specific group or topics a step for fcm push notifications you will need to register the user application instance with Firebase Cloud Messaging Servers. You will need to register on your server the devices by ID, group, or topic. So you can, you can register the device with the ID of the device and you can send a single message, especially for a single device, or you can send, as we say, to a group or to a topic. So 90% of the messages are delivered. The open rate is high, so it's a very powerful technology. But why push notifications? Push notifications are essential for business offering online products and services as they allow for instantaneous communication with users and customers, even if they are not actively using your app or website. So you can make the users go back and reopen your application or website. You will need, as we see before, a permission of the user. But what are the benefits of push notifications and Firebase Cloud Messaging? The benefits are instant engagement. You can bring users back instantly so if you want to some topic is very important to be told to a lot group of users to a big group of users you can send and you have a lot of your community instant engage with this new piece of content increase retention users you can be sending uh, for example twice a day a push notification and you can have retention and users reopening the app and that is good for the metrics and the machine learning models. Re-engage customers. Also to increase conversion rates, push notifications can help to increase conversion rates by providing users with timely and relevant information. Also to improve user experience, so you can inform the user with the best pieces of content data using machine learning, so the user is benefited by having the most important part of your application and your content visible and increase revenue. Monetization will increase through the more user time on your apps via advertising, selling goods, or selling digital services. But how does FCM works? You pre-register a device, the user grants permission to your app to send notifications. This permission can be canceled at any time. Send notifications, messages, or data messages. Messages also from a client app back to servers. You will need for FCM a secure environment such as cloud functions for Firebase or application server. Me in the past I used a Python script to send, I, I have a lot, about 10,000 subscribers to push notifications in a web and I use a Python script to inform all the users when a new article was published and I, I have like a lot of people entering in that moment to the article. So it is a boost of a lot of traffic. So the idea is to generate this um, push notification to lead a lot of users to a new piece of content, a new application, a big new, something that is very relevant to the user that has agreed and subscribed. A very powerful tool for marketing here. A client for app for Apple and the web, JavaScript, that receives messages through the respective platform's transport service. Okay, but how to initialize push notifications on your app? The architectural overview. Set up the SDK for Android, iOS, or web. Code your client app logic for FCM. Incorporate messages, handling, topic subscription, and other optional features to your client app. Utilize the notification composer to send test messages during development. Create your server architecture logic. You can use the Firebase Admin SDK. FCM architecture. Okay, so here it's very important to say that there are two types of message types, that is notification messages and data messages. And the client app process the data message. Here is the FCM diagram of the architecture. As you, you can send uh, push notifications via the notifications console GUI in the Firebase console, or you can use your server. As we said, you can use Go, Python, JavaScript, and you can build your trusted environment and send the notifications to the FCM backend. The FCM backend will distribute the messages to the Android transport layer, to the iOS APNS, 
port to the web push and this uh, and this platform level message transport will ultimately uh, deploy the message to the single devices that are going to receive the messages. FCM lifecycle. Send a message from the app server to target some client apps. Message is composed in the notifications composer or two-step backend and sent to FCM backend. The FCM backend sends it to the platform specific transport layer. When the device is connected to the internet, the message is sent to the appropriate platform transport layer to the device. The client app on custom device receives the notification of message. So thanks for seeing this video and hope it helped you to understand an introduction to FCM, a Firebase Cloud Messaging, and work really hard, read the documentation so you can understand all the foundations.